I've shared with you here, there are many of you, you are gifted, but you are with the wrong audience. You have not yet gotten to the environment that has the discernment to honor you. Joseph interpreted three people's dreams. He interpreted the dream of the wine presser. He remained in prison. They didn't have the wherewithal to help him. He interpreted the dream of the baker. He remained there. But when the king dreamt, the same gift, oh, the gift did not improve. It was only the audience that changed. There are some of you, you have been interpreting dreams well done, but you have exhausted that training. It's time for God to announce you. And God does not necessarily need to upgrade the gift. He just needs to bring the people who have capacity to discern what you carry and reward you. And I pray for you already. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace that lifts, may the grace that announces, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Listen, announcement is a spiritual thing. Media can only help. Believe me, if that grace has not rested, you will shout around and nobody will hear you. He said, he that has an ear, let him hear. That means not everybody has that kind of ear. You can be shouting and say, I am here. I studied this. I can do this. But the realm of the spirit says we cannot hear you. And that is where the control room is. I have a great ministry. I can heal. Listen to me. I have a, I can, my family is a great family. But the realm of the spirit is not hearing. There is a hear ye him anointing. A grace that rests upon you. And even the deaf will know you are there. Can I speak it over someone? In the name of Jesus. Whatever has silenced your influence. So that your voice will not be heard. I call upon the God of my covenant. May you be heard from today. May you be heard from today. Let the ends of the earth hear you. Let the ends of the earth hear you. my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard john said i am the voice of one crying he was heard when jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you i say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice i came by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of jesus that silence comes to an end Hallelujah. Gifted, but nobody's seen you. Genuinely called, but it looks like you are just going around rigmaroling. Can I tell you this? Believe me, when that grace is on you, it doesn't matter even if you are in a hole, the nations will look for you there. It is true. Rest on me, oh, rest on me, oh, rest on me, the Holy Ghost power, rest on me, let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me, let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, 
Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Now hear me please. There are some serious prayers that we want to pray now. And whilst we pray, I'm already seeing visions of fire. When the Holy Spirit reveals himself as fire, he does not just come as a refiner. He also comes to burn everything. Everything in life is heat dependent. There is no material known to man that can survive certain levels of heat. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I taught you that there are five spiritual atmospheres and every time God introduces any of them, you must be discerning because it's time to receive. The atmosphere of prayer engenders reception. The atmosphere of worship engenders reception the atmosphere of the prophetic engenders reception you must be sensitive i want us to pray are you ready to pray this is the ministration no? as i pray who is josiah josiah i'm hearing the name josiah josiah haras koli kabandi grahaf kazimalakosiapash Josiah, I'm hearing the name Josiah. Every altar that has brought families down, every altar that will not allow men and families to rise by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm hearing Josiah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse those atmospheres now. I curse those atmospheres now. I'm hearing the name Oluwa Kemi. Oluwa Kemi. This is a Yoruba name. Oluwa Kemi. This is what I'm hearing. Oluwa Kemi. We are going to pray. But salvation has come to this person and this family. Oluwa Kemi. Who is that place? Oluwa Kemi, this is what I'm hearing in my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. I'm hearing the name Bridget. 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 Is there someone with such a name? Bridget, run here. Bridget, salvation has come to your family. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me, spirit of wisdom. Who is Bridget? Bridget, where are you from? I'm going to pray for you. Shalis Kabrandi Gabariata. We're going to pray. Bridget, I'm praying for you, but the person who is shouting now is in the crowd. Bring the person out. The power of God, just this direction. I'm seeing fire resting on someone. Please bring the person out now in the name of Jesus Christ please bring the person out now I want to pray for you I'd like you to be sensitive we are going to pray Bridget I'm hearing the name Bridget you have a daughter her name is Joy you have a daughter the name of the daughter is Joy I'm not saying the daughter, it's not the daughter I'm calling. It's a woman who has a daughter whose name is Joy. Please, where are you? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for those in front here. I'm seeing attacks on two of you. We're going to pray, but I'm seeing strange attacks. I curse those spirits. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of them now! In the name of Jesus. Out of them now! Oh, oh, oh. Rest on me, oh, oh, oh. rest on me, oh, oh, oh. 
I'm still seeing these attacks. Every attack on any family represented here by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic, be delivered this moment. 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 You have been seeing the spirit of death on your husband. This is what God is revealing to me. The spirit of death. You have seen it in dreams. And this is targeted towards your husband. God wants me to pray for you before we get into prayer now. I decree and declare. I don't know who that woman is. The spirit of death. And this is targeted over your husband. That your husband will die and leave you and with your children and you go through all kinds of pain and this thing wants to come as cancer this is what i'm seeing in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised christ from the dead i command that spirit of death masquerading as infirmity it dies now it dies now it dies now Hallelujah. One, two, three, four, five. Five people will shout now under the anointing. Please, I want you to bring them out. I know there are people shouting, but this is, I've saw the number five. Bring them out. Tonight, God is giving you a change of story. Please bring them out. There is a reason why I ask them to come out. Your sister is a commissioner. Your sister is a commissioner. This is what your sister is a commissioner. Is there someone like that? Commissioner meaning those who aid governments. Um, commissioner, I don't know whether commissioner of what. But I'm hearing commissioner. Your sister is a commissioner. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you very quickly. Please, if I mention your case... Just hurry up so you don't waste our time. We are going to pray. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I'm praying right now for that person. Because I'm seeing something that looks like it's a spiritual thing. But it looks like someone eats. And then they begin to have a bloating stomach. And that's how they just pass on. In the name that is above all names. Anyone digging a pit for you. After the order of her man. May they fall into their same pit. I say it again, anyone digging a pit for your destruction, they fall into that pit. They fall into that pit. They fall into that pit in the name of Jesus. For all of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is inconsistent with God's intent for your life and destiny, I stretch my hands towards you now and I declare be delivered forever. Be delivered forever. Please return back to your seat. We are going to pray. Fire is falling here now. When it's time to pray in this prayer, you are receiving with all your heart. Are you ready to pray? Psalm 3 and verse 1. 3 and verse 1. Give my people the mic so that we'll pray. 3 and verse 1. It says, Oh Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many a day that rise up against me. Psalm 71 and verse 21. We are praying. Someone's destiny is about to change. Read with me. One to read. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day... I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel that they may know that as I was with Moses so I will be with you are you ready to pray shout this from the depth of your heart father, father for your glory for your glory increase my greatness go ahead and pray Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. 
Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Sapakata barakatos, rateka barakatas, rata bataka paskata branda katas, rates kata barakata barakos. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. My greatness take away smallness from my destiny. Paro Shabalakata Bakata Rakata Barakata Fraskatesh Rapato Sobrekata Belekata. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. My God, something is happening to your spirit, man. I tell you, there is an elevation in the spirit, an elevation. I'm seeing a ladder. This is what I'm seeing, an elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing, changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs, those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30, and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabaka parakatos yata. Blessed is the man that considered the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him 
and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. Parandos Calibra Catizeta. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say, Father, I decree, I, believe, I declare, I declare divine, restoration divine restoration of opportunities, opportunities of, relationships, of relationships, of resources, of, resources, of, men, of men, of my joy. Of my joy. Now, now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Paris Sabalagadash. Gram Patalaka Barakatos. Rakatas Kotobros. Abrakata Balakata Frescata Balaka. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabakaparos, Rakata Braskata Vaskabash, Ratakata Braskata Balakos, Rakata Brantakabash, Ebrakatos Koto Brekatelex. Cry restoration, cry restoration, cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. It's one thing for God to speak. But it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent. But it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins. God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, And the Lord visited Sarah, as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. 
and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived. Don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day? You see, the way God talks and the way he behaves, he expects his word to have come speedily. Whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation, Jesus looked at the man in John chapter 5 and said, why are you still in this condition? And he said, I have no man. And it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years, another had hemorrhage for 12 years, why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray because there are some of you, you can't wait again till December. No, the Bible said this is the day. Not this is the week. Not this is the month. There are days, there are weeks, there are months, there are years. Whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality. If your faith is for years, save Johnny. If your faith is for months, save Johnny. He said, give us this day. Give us when? Day. One more time. So God can give men this day. There are times they will say, after five months, on the sixth month of the seventh year, the word of the Lord came. But Jesus himself said, when you pray, remind the Father that it's within his power to give you this day. Give me this, this day. Give me liftings this day. Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He saved you. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him. My God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's got a Joshua 21 45 read with me ready one to read there failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all came to pass how many how many are you ready to pray say father I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word I declare someone pray I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. 
you have spoken let it come to pass today you have spoken let it come to pass now you have spoken let it come to pass now you have spoken let it come to pass now let it come to pass now let it come to pass now in Jesus name in Jesus name my God I'm tempted to give you the next one just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Hearing is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah ordained you to go and bear fruit 15 16 and that your fruit should remain let me tell you the truth do not downplay results in this life i know that you are here because you love jesus but you are also here because you have seen results results at the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is the prayer father Give evidence to my Christian experience. Did you hear what I said? Give evidence. I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father, in this season, give evidence to my Christian experience. Results, genuine results. Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows, pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my, live, my living for you. Pray, pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.